earnings. To the girl, zinc has crossed uh, the $3,100 per ton mark and it is at a 10-year high. A huge boost to zinc exposed companies like you. When was the last time you saw such a tearaway rally and what does it mean for a full zinc uh, oriented company like yours? We actually don't look at LME. It is a, it's a, it's a advantage, of course, uh, to us. But uh, we we basically focus on our internal volume and the cost, and and improvement of the internal efficiencies using our technology. This has been our core strength. And over the years, we have always focused to keep the cost under check and meet the whatever the internal and the external challenges under the ambit of that, so that mm -hmm. at any point of time, whatever may be the LME, we should stand and we should be the last to die. Right. So what's the status in the global inventories for zinc? They were in deficit for the first five months of 2 to 17, but off lay those concerns seem to now be, in, uh, you know, be decreasing. Would that pose uh, a risk to zinc prices then? No, actually, the inventory, of course, you are also reading that fallen in the 10-year low, low now. Uh, it's about 8 to 10 days of the inventory which is left out. So over the last two years, also, if you have a look that the deficit has been building up, uh, the stocks, it is more important that the stocks are uh, diminishing from the warehouses. And the in the current context, the, between the demand and the supply, uh, the still the gap is there. So whatever uh, gap was there two years back, over that the gap widened the last year and still the gap is there today. So overall the inventories have become the lowest. It's a combination of many factors. Of course, uh, what happened uh, last uh, two years back when the LME had touched as low as $1,400. So some of the high-profile projects which were coming up, they had shelved their plan at that time. And, you know, building any mine at any point of time, it takes a time. Uh, then uh, the other events also took place that some of the mining companies like uh, Glencore took a call to shut some of their production centers. So all those centers also coming on board takes a little more time. And there are events happening in China of late. You must have also heard that there was an earthquake in which impacted some of their mines and the supply also got impacted. Some of the environment issues. So the combination of the factors that what is the demand supply, number one, what are the uh, high-profile mines which have closed? Number three, what are mm. the new projects, whether they, there is a delay, whether there is a uh, obstruction, whether the uh, some of the unnatural events which have taken place, uh, some of the sudden shocks which have come. So overall, the story of zinc is different from the other metals. But uh, the today, the uh, the story like that that the uh, the event suddenly which has taken place in China and the imports in the China have increased, and because of that, the warehouses. Uh, have depleted their stocks, and it has it has given a uh, you know message in the market, and because of that the LME has taken a upturn. And uh, my own sense is that this situation will prevail in the next few quarters. Hi, Mr. Dugal, this is Nanta joining us in the New Delhi studio. Now let's talk about Hindustan Zinc, the company. Uh, you know, we'll get to the record dividend possibility in just a bit, like it paid out last year. But talking about your production, while the Rampura Agucha did not contribute much in the first quarter, what will be the kind of production we can see going forward? Uh, how will it be ramped up by the end of FI18? Well, actually, we, you, if you see, uh, in the last few years, we have been ramping down our open cast mine, but at the same time, we have preparing ourselves in ramping up our underground mines. So, ramping down of the Rampura Gucha open cast, ramping up of the Rampura Gucha underground, and, but at the same time, ramping up of all our mines. Even with the open pit share coming down from 80% to 20%, we have been able to rise our volume year on year. 
and still mm. this year we are confident that we will be able to rise our volume over last year and this rally will continue till uh, about 2 years time when our shops and the all our projects are fully commissioned we will mm. be able to raise our production to 1.2 million tons in about 2 years time mm. from now Now let's talk about Zawar. You've upgraded that complex to a mega mining status. What kind of a mining potential can we expect? That what I'm also trying to get at is that with zinc prices at 10-year highs, I'm guessing you'll want to ramp up production. The current plan is to take it take it to four million tons, but we are also on a blackboard because within our mining lease there are lenses which we are exploring now and doing the drilling. and there are good indicators which, and based on that indicators we are setting up a vision to raise up the production from 4 million tons of the ore production to 8 million tons but this work is on the blackboard as of now okay and uh, so that's you looking to ramp up your production right now so you maintain that all the smelters will run at full capacity by fit Yeah, that's what we are uh, planning, and all our de-bottlenecking actions are in place. And uh, by by the by the end of FY18, uh, we'll be able to complete all our actions so that you know whatever the additional quantity of the concent uh, the concentrate which flows from the mine, we should be able to smelt it and raise the uh, capacity of the uh, de- uh, smelting uh, to 1.2 million ton. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at @etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/etnow.